How careless would it be to get carried away a little? What the- <laughs> Mariko, this is not the time! Hey internet, it's Jessica and welcome back to Soul Set. So today we're gonna be taking a look at Marco's route and I was looking at the walkthrough and it pretty much said that Marco doesn't have a good ending in his route, which is kind of interesting considering the fact that everyone has different endings so it looks like he only has bad endings for his route specifically so let's see you know what happens so this is when we're picking the partners and i thought this dialogue was interesting because it said somehow i already know that i drew the king interesting <laughs> All right, we're gonna pick Marcos and see how this goes. I don't know how much information we're gonna gather from him because considering he doesn't even have a good ending and I feel kind of bad. This guy gets like all this crap thrown at him and I don't know why. I still don't know if I can trust him or not because he does hide a lot of things and the things he's been saying throughout each of the routes has been really weird to me, so. I'd like to pair up with you, Marco. Me? That's what I said. Any complaints? I didn't expect that. Really? Were you hoping to end up with someone else? I could reconsider. No, no. It's fine. I'm just surprised is all. Anyway, who is queen? Huh. Alright, so here are the partners for this fruit. Mariko, Mariko and Marco, Yvonne and Apris, and Sheer and Shira. I, I, I kind of saw this coming, that these two would pair up together again, because in Shear's ending, that was considered the good ending, where everybody was like happy and whatever, so... I wonder how Mariko is gonna act with Marco because Marco said some weird things about her saying like she's very hypocritical on the way she's acting before she lost her memories which makes me think that Mariko was a bad person so is this the room we're staying in? That was quite the comeback. She's been getting on my nerves. I suppose nobody can blame her for being paranoid considering I'm talking about Shira. Are you nervous as well? I think it's normal to be a little nervous. Yeah I'd worried about you if you weren't before we get to drink these, can I ask you something? Sure. Why did you decide to pair up me with me exactly? You seem like the most trustworthy out of the group. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> you seem the most suspicious of the group. Who knows, maybe you're my type. Honestly, in my opinion, he's suspicious. You seem the most suspicious of the group. Wait, wait, so you went along with me just to figure out if I'm hiding something or not? You could say that. It's clear that you handle an alchemy in foreign languages, with your supposed amnesia on top. That definitely doesn't do any favors on my suspicion meter. Hmm, can understand that. It seems suspicious from the outside point of view. But let me ask you something. If you remembered such things yourself, would you hide the fact that would you hide that from the fact that everyone just in order not to attract suspicion to yourself? Or would you not care and use that method that you had at your disposal? I decided to go with the latter. It seems weird, but though I can remember some spells and formulas, I can't remember anything about myself as a person. So your memory loss is more selective? Isn't it the same for you? I don't think so. I don't remember any spells or what kind of magic I can use, assuming that I was able to use any to begin with. See, but you do remember that magic itself is a thing, just as I remember that alchemy is a thing, and that we could possibly use to our advantage. Hmm, alright, I can see your point. Anyway, we can discuss more of this later. We should drink these potions before we go to bed. Right. You don't mind if I lie next to you on the bed, do you? As long as you behave, I don't try any funny business. <laughs> don't worry, I'm quite fond with my hands. What? <laughs> Cheers. Wait. What is it? Let's swap our potions. <laughs> I was wondering if you would suggest that. Wait, you did? You just told me that you didn't trust me, so yes, I thought it would be pretty obvious. Did that just make you uncomfortable? Uh, screwing with people's mind gives me the most pleasant tingle. See what I mean? Marco's so like weird. Why is he always saying this cryptic shit? Either way, it's good that you're careful. I don't mind swapping them if it makes you feel better. Just please try to make up your mind in less than a minute. Uh. He did say he was expecting us to swap potions, so I guess we don't have to. Oh shit, this hits hard. Was there alcohol in this thing? It didn't smell like it, and yet my stomach's getting pleasantly warm. Ugh, I know I'm not supposed to freak out about this, but I should really lie down. I think I'm about to... Whoa, easy there. Marco? Is that his hand on my wrist? Lie down. Be careful not to hit your head. But he's not going to sleep. Okay, I, I, this is weird. Mm. Wait, I was... I'm alive. Was I out for long? My head feels groggy, as if I slept the whole day straight. But it could have been that long, could it? 
Moreover, freezing. Whose plain idea was to line top of covers and I'm not under them again? Marco? Oh, he's lying right next to me, with his hands still wrapped around my wrist. Well, at least it's warm. Sleep well? You're awake. Have you been watching me asleep? I woke up a minute ago myself. I don't trust him when he says that, because, like, he wasn't fainting when he took the potion, too. Mm, are you feeling as horrible as I am? Don't even get me started on that. Have you remembered anything? I haven't. Lies! Lies! <laughs> that makes two of us, then. Or at least I don't remember remembering anything. So from what you've been saying, either we've been total strangers all along, or the potions didn't work. Maybe I messed something up. I think he did. Because every route, Marco says he knows Mariko or said something that implies that he knows her. I think what he was trying to do was to make Mariko remember, but it's not working. Or maybe they've gone bad before we use them? I don't think so. They would have put us to sleep if that's the case. I see. We should probably get up, huh? Go and check the others, what the others are doing? We should do that, yes. Unless they have other plans. Very funny. Now, like, well, you can let go of my wrist now. Oh, pushing my luck with you, hmm? It seems nobody is here yet. Are we the first to wake up? Possibly. Oh, you're already here. You're the devil. Sheer, are you- Are you sure you should be walking around on your own? I'm feeling better now. I'm trying not to push myself, don't worry. I can lend you a shoulder if you end up needing one. Just let me know. Thank you. Are Yvonne and Apra still asleep? Beats me. I can go check up on them. Just remember, no running in the hallway. <laughs> sure. How did things go on your end? No luck either. She- Oh. Neither she nor I remember anything with these stupid potions. So it was the same for you. That's what I keep wondering. Did Mar- I think- I think Marco didn't do it on purpose. I think he per- Like, he actually forgot how to make the potions work. Um, they're not in any of the rooms. What? Maybe they woke up before us then? Could they be in the library? Or maybe- Don't tell me they've been out of the courtyard this whole time. It's freezing out there. Let's go check that. Uh, I'll go see if they're in the library then. Yvonne? Appers, are you here? No, no luck, I guess. Wait, what's that? Oh, it's the letter from Viathor. <laughs> I've noticed you've been quiet ever since you found that note. Is everything alright? Marco, you were with me this whole time, weren't you? It's nothing, I'm just feeling a little groggy after drinking that potion. No, I want to call him out. You were with us this entire time. Marco, you were with me this whole time, weren't you? Is that what's been bothering you? Yes, I didn't leave your side for a second, I promise. All right. I trust you, okay? Do you really? Oh my god. I was thinking about going down to the basement again. It seems like the first logical place to look for that soul stone in. Would you like to accompany me? A suspicious redhead is trying to drag me into the basement with him. What could possibly go wrong, I wonder? <laughs> I didn't even promise you any candy yet. How'd you see through my evil plans? It's called common sense, Marco. Jokes aside, sure, I don't mind. Let's stick together. Mr. Apperson and I can search the library, if that's alright with everyone. So that leaves Sheer and me with, what, the courtyard? I wouldn't go out there even if you paid me. Place creepy and cold. I guess that means we'll look over the hall and the bedrooms again? So, a soul stone should probably look like a stone, right? Let's hope it does. You're taller than I am, so would you mind looking over the upper shelves? I'll stick to the tables. Sounds like a plan. I wonder if Theothor's in the wardrobe this time. I I'm just curious. Marco? Yeah. There's some kind of stone here, but it doesn't look that unusual. I don't think that's what we're looking for. Hey, basement dwellers! Get back up here and manage to find something! Here's the illusion spell. Did you decline because you wanted some alone time, or are you thinking about getting a bath with me? I won't deny that I was hoping I'd get a chance to wash your back. What the hell, Marco? Um, sure, I was hoping you'd join me. I was actually hoping you'd join me, yes. <laughs> Wait, you were? Did I stutter? Oh, did I stutter, bitch? <laughs> you promised to wash my back. I'm gonna hold you to that. Just wait for the girls to be done. I think Marco is trying to get Marco alone just so we can talk with him. I don't mind going in last. I'll be in the kitchen. I guess that means we can go in together now. Unless you change your mind in the meantime. Are you hoping you can still get yourself out of the backwashing? Not a chance. <laughs> There's no fooling with you. Okay, so I just invited a guy to take a bath with me. I wonder if I would have done the same if I had my memories intact. It just seems like a fun idea, though. Hopefully Marco won't make me regret it. Alright, this is weird. Marco? Oh yeah, that's right, he has bruises on his arms, I forgot! Are you injured? What? Oh, this? Yeah, it seems so. I already had it like with this when I woke up. But it's nothing serious. 
Mind if I take a look at it? No, but there's honestly nothing to see. Um, yeah, okay there. <laughs> Is that a slash wound? Not that deep, it's basically a scratch. It doesn't look like a scratch to me. It's like something cuts you with something sharp, like a knife or a sword. You have no idea what caused it? None, like I said, I just woke up with my arm already treated. If you needed help with anything, just let me know, right? Sure. I wonder if it's the, the demon lady outside, which I suspect is Mariko's mother, but I don't know. Also, that necklace of yours must have been pretty important if you can't leave it alone for a few minutes. Uh, pay no mind. What's in the bottle? A little secret. Honestly, come on. The water's gonna get cold. This guy keeps avoiding all our questions. I hate it. We both know that's not true. So, you were hitting on Shira. For the last time, I wasn't hitting on anybody. I was trying to provoke her. Someone sounds defensive. <laughs> Provoking someone tells you a lot about their person, you know. It's good practice for information gathering. Is that why you're being such a tease with me? I don't know. What do you think? Would you mind if I asked you the same question you asked me back in the basement when we first met? Which one? How old do I look to you? Oh, you know, I did wonder about that for a while. I'd say you look... Okay, considering how old everybody else is in the group, I feel like Marco is the youngest one looking, looking wise, looking wise, because we don't know how old he really is. He could be 500 euros for, for all we know. But I'm going to go with the middle, 16. 16? And you're coming on to me thinking I'm 16. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> That's not good. I'm not coming on to anyone. There's no harm in some playful flirt flirting, is there? No, you shouldn't have flirt. You shouldn't flirt if you know they're underage. Don't don't do that. Say vice versa. If you're underage and you're flirting with an older person, don't do that. Just don't do that. Mariko, you just invited me to take a bath with you. So, please stop playing dumb with me. Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. For the record, you asked me about your appearance. You look young, but you definitely don't act like a teenager. I think it's just he looks young, but he's not 16, okay? <laughs> well, I can assure you that I'm older than that. So 18? Older. Now that you're just pulling my leg, is that an assumption or do I have actually remembered something about yourself? What if I told you that I believe I might be older than any of you are? That's what I think. I think he's the eldest, but he just looks the youngest. Get real. You told me I look like I was in my mid-20s. Or something like that, yes. So what you're saying is that you're older than 20. What, 25? Are you honestly expecting me to believe this? Did I just burst some of your bubbles? You're getting so worked up over this. It's adorable. What? You're really pulling my leg, aren't you? Who knows? Why, you little- Hey, cut that out! You're going to get us all wet. Isn't that what a bath is? Or, or What is this pretty boy made of? Sugar? No, but you'll catch a cold if you go outside with your hair soaked. Oh crap, my claws got tangled in that necklace of his. Ooh. Shit! Don't breathe! What? Why? You have great reflexes, Marco. I understand that you panic and you wanted to cover your face, but you don't have to tackle me into the wall while you're at it. Wow, we're surrounded by a cloud of dark powder. Are you finally gonna tell me what that bottle of yours is? It's sleeping powder. Oh, okay. So that was the stuff that he used on Yvonne and uh, Mariko during Apris's route. All right. I thought it was something else, like a like a like a memory or something. I don't know. I, I just thought it was like that. Sleeping powder for def for self defense. Yes. One can never be too careful around strangers without unknowing intentions. If you haven't noticed, I'm probably the weakest person out of all of us. Someone tried to overpower me. Anyway, most of it sank into the water by now. We should be fine as long as we don't inhale or swallow it. You're worried I might do something to you? Not necessarily. Didn't it occur to you that someone might be ambushed here? Just being precautious. It's a habit, I suppose. Don't take it personally. You're thoughtful and careful about a lot of things. I'll give you that. And I'll be honest, your survival instinct kind of baffles- Hi, Marco, you're a little bit close. <laughs> you're really close. Does it bother you? Because you don't seem to be complaining. Yeah, I don't seem to be complaining. I actually enjoyed the closeness. How careless would it be to get carried away a little- What the- <laughs> Mariko, this is not the time! No, I'm not coming on to me at all. Shit, now I'm staring. But he clearly finds this entertaining. Marco's making it easy to play along with this whole game. I think it's an act. I don't think he's actually, like, flirting with her. Because that's what it is, isn't it? All this is just a game to both of us? Either that or Marco is really kind of a person who doesn't mind these kind of advances. I'm not falling into some kind of trap, am I? You're not- you weren't lying- you weren't lying to me about your age, were you? Cross my heart. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, do I actually have to kiss this dude? 
Like, like Marco seems like a nice guy, but the thing is, I don't know what his intentions are because he keeps throwing me off in every single story. I'm so confused. Would you mind if I kissed you? What do you think? Would I? I swear, he's such a tease, but he doesn't seem to mind the closest either. It's encouraging. Oh god, did we kiss him? I'll be damned, but... I act upon a whim and lean in. I carefully press my lips to his. Marco doesn't pull away. He places a hand on my hip and pulls me closer. There's no hesitation or shy about his actions. Marco's lips start to brush against my own. I feel like I could melt. It's a tender kind of kiss. It feels really nice. Alright, we're just making out now. <laughs> wow, this is unexpected. That I kissed you? No, I mean, yes, that too, but mostly the way it made me feel. I never imagined it would feel this bad. This bad? Why? <laughs> what? Uh, I, I didn't mean... Marco, you're not making any sense. Please explain. Do you regret it? No, it's not that. It's just, it could make things complicated in the long run for both of us. What do you mean? You're hiding something from me, aren't you? I, am I? Marco. You know what? What? I just realized that if we both had inhaled that powder, we could have drowned in there with ease. Damn it, Marco! While I appreciate that your self-defense methods didn't kill us, I'd appreciate it a lot more if you didn't change the topic. We should get out of the water, just to be on the safe side again. Marco. Don't forget that you still owe me some backwashing. So, you trust me with your back? You really like to push your luck, don't you? You're just so fun to tease, how can I resist? What did he mean by all of that? Why did his demeanor change all of a sudden? Well, I don't know! <laughs> hey, those clothes look like they were made for you. They kind of feel that way too. Thank you for finding them. The pleasure's all mine. You know, you've been starting to be avoidant ever since we got out of the bathhouse. What's wrong? Don't you want to sleep in the same bed as me? <laughs> I should be the one asking that question. Well, I won't let you sleep on the floor. We could cuddle, I guess. I okay, the problem is, like, with every route so far, with the romance parts, I was I didn't really have a problem with them because at least there was some, like, development for it. But with Marcos, I feel like it's forced. Is it just me? I feel like it's forced between Marco and Mariko. Like, Mariko is advancing, like, way too forcefully than it should. I don't know. I just feel like it's forced. We can cuddle. If you'd like to, it's cold in here. <laughs> it almost sounds like you're trying to make excuses. Are you sure you want to cu Are you sure you just have cuddling in mind? Yes. Ooh, someone looks embarrassed. You're a horrible tease, you know that? And you act like it's the first time you invited a guy to your bed. Well, thank you. Considering I don't remember doing that before, might as well be my first. I doubt it. Excuse me? Did it ever cross your mind? What do you think I meant when I said that things get complicated for the both of us? What if we're both suddenly remember that we've been in love with someone else? What would you do then? Whoa, that's... I didn't consider that. I'm pretty sure I don't have anyone like that, but I'm trying to con be considerate for you. You're a grown woman, Mariko. I wouldn't believe for a second that you have no one you cared about in such a way. Besides, that could be true for all people trapped in here. They probably don't realize it themselves. Is this just the theory Marco came up with, or did he actually know something? This is just a weird thought, though. If I were to imagine I had someone I cared about, and now remember nothing of it, how would that person feel if they found out about this? Would the circumstances we're in make it justifiable? I guess you're right. You're right. But the thing is that she, she doesn't technically have any romance. Unless, like I said, my time travel theory is right. And she technically does because she romanced everybody in this game. So, you're right. This is irresponsible of me. Thank you for understanding. I definitely enjoy the flirting. And everything's fun in games as long as it's fun in games. It's just for me, as for long as some lines don't get crossed. That being said, I don't mind us cuddly for the night. But let's just keep these kind of things in mind and try not to get carried away, yes? So you're afraid of things getting serious? Aren't you? Back at the bathhouse, is that your first kiss? Hmm. <laughs> Would you be disappointed if it wasn't? Considering it probably wasn't my first either, I don't think I have the right to be disappointed about anything. Do you remember something in that regard? No, but I'm really starting to get the feeling that you actually know more about me than you let on. Mm-hmm. Does the name Fiathor mean anything to you, Marco? Fiathor? Now that you mention it, you called that you called out that name when I first found you. I did? Is it something is it someone important? I have no idea. I remember meeting him when I was younger, but those are the only memories I have. I have no idea who he was to me. The note we found in the library was signed with initials. With his initials. I've been constantly wondering about that connection. Do you remember what the guy looked like? 
Um, fairly tall, long, black hair, green eyes, lots of jewelry. I think it would be easier to mistake him for a woman. Huh. <laughs> Do you know him? Remember how I said I saw such a barrier outside once before? I think he might have been the person I saw inside of it back at, back at the time, whenever that time was. Really? But that's all I remember. The context is still lost to me. Huh. Huh? Marco, do you know if Uther was alone at the time? Were you alone at the time? I think so. Why? Just asking. We were established- Well, we established that we both know him, one way or another. I'm curious if he's tied to our current predicament somehow. Considering not just anyone can set up such a barrier, and he clearly managed to do that at least once, I'd say the chances are high. Not just anyone? Time magic is tricky devil to control. You won't find you won't find any normal books referring to anywhere else, I assure you. Oh my god, there we go again with the time magic. I swear they're time traveling. Huh, how do you know that? I just know. You're asking me things I'm able to unable to answer. Alright, I'll stop pushing. Sorry. It's just been one hell of a day. Can't argue with that one. Should we call it a night? We can discuss things more tomorrow. Yeah. So, cuddles? Marco? Yes, I like that. Huh. Hmm. You're warm. As you are- as are you. Would you mind becoming my personal heater? <laughs> be careful, my services might be expensive. I think I'll be able to afford them. Good night. Good night, Mariko. Huh? Oh, I must have stirred in my sleep. Marco? Wait, he's gone. What? The space beside me is empty and cold. Did Marco get up before me? He should have woken me up and let me know at least. What's making that noise? Oh god, what is happening now? A piece of paper? This is another note. It's hand it's it's handwritten, but it has numbers in the corner. Looks like a page from a torn out book. Whatever's written on it, it's nonsense to me. Did Marco lose it? I guess I'll take it with me. Huh. He did give us the book before, so it might have been from that book. I don't know, though. I wonder if anyone else is awake. Marco? Nobody's here. What the fuck? Where is everybody? Baby Marco just went down to the basement again. Wait. Sheer? What is she doing on the floor? What? Sheer, are you alright? Hey, talk to me. She's... Ugh, thank heaven she's breathing. For a moment there, I thought, she's unconscious though. What the hell happened? Did her wound give her a hard time? No, Marco has sleeping powder. Is that what that is? I should get her upstairs. Shira, are you there? Holy shit! Don't scare me like that! Whoa, what the hell happened? I was hoping you could tell me I found her like this down in the basement. I think she's just unconscious. I'll place her on the bed. I was asleep the whole time! She was supposed to be asleep here with me too! Wait, you said you found her in the basement? What the hell were you doing in the basement? I was looking for Marco. Oh boy, I'm guessing you didn't go downstairs for a midnight snack. I don't know, we also went to bed together and I just woke up alone. So I went looking for him. Did he do this? I have no idea! I looked everywhere but I couldn't find him. Wait, I didn't check the front yard yet, nor the cold storage. Shit, I should have seen something like this coming. I knew this whole situation was too good to be true. What do you mean? Read some novel sometime. Shira, this isn't the time for jokes. Do you see me laughing? I'm completely serious. We need to plan to the next steps or, and be careful about it. Any news on Yvonne and Epris? I didn't see them anywhere, so they might just be asleep in their room. I went straight to you after I found Shira. Which is either a good thing or a very bad thing. Why do you say that? You are aware I can't trust you, right? For all I know, all this could be a part of your plan. What guarantee do I have that this whole thing isn't coming to ruse you and Marco come up together? Am I next on the list? With the way you're thinking, I shouldn't trust you either. Sadly, that, that isn't how it works. Oh, this is just great. Wait, where are you going? Vaughn, Apris, can you hear me? You don't have to shout what's wrong. Oh, good. You're alright. Is Yvonne with you? Good morning. As you can see, she's a heavy sleeper. Just give her a moment. Marco went missing and she is unconscious. Huh? What happened? I wish I knew. We were in this room this whole time. I didn't sleep, so I didn't hear anyone walking down the stairs, but I didn't make much of it. When was that? A few hours ago. 
the first time. The second and third time didn't happen that long ago. I'm guessing that was when you were going down and coming back up then. Considering the situation we're in, let me just point out that it was a bit irresponsible for you to leave Sheer alone and, and to come to me like that. Huh? We should stick together from now on. I have no idea what happened, but leaving anyone on their own at this point is another potential disaster in the making. Until we figure out what's happening, I agree. Where do you want to go? The library? The kitchen? Stay in the other rooms? The library is the most spacious. I'll, care sh I'll carry Sheer downstairs then. Let me help you with that. What is Marco doing now? Because like, every time we were looking for the soul stone, he was the one who hid it, right? But then in the last time, like, I, was it uh, Yvonne's room? He exploded, so I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm afraid this is a worse condition than just being unconscious. What's wrong with her? Her soul seems to be gone. What? What? So she's just a lifeless vessel now? Well, technically, she's still alive. You could just think of her being in a coma. But if her consciousness doesn't come back, she stays like this. Her body won't be able to sustain itself on its own. In other words, she's going to starve to death or die of dehydration. What the fuck is happening? Could we keep feeding her somehow? We could try. But if she doesn't wake up at all anymore, there wouldn't be much point of doing that, would there? Well, sure is one thing. Marco is still missing, whether he is somehow tied to this or not. I wanted to check the front yard, because I haven't gotten a chance to look there yet. Should I go with you? I'd like to see if the books won't tell us anything about Miss Shear's condition, if you wouldn't mind. In this situation, every minute counts. Alright then, I really don't like the idea of us splitting up, but I guess we have no helping it. You two stay here, I'll accompany Marco. Are you sure you don't want to stay with your sister? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, come on! There doesn't seem to be any fresh bodies in the bushes. Well, Marco's here either. The last place to look is the cold storage. Please don't tell me someone's locked up in there. You know, I wasn't sure if I, a I should ask, but I noticed you've been scratching your hand for a while now. Are you okay? Huh? I was so absorbed with everything I haven't realized, but Cher is right. My hand does feel somewhat itchy. It's that thing again. That's what's keeping us alive. What? I'm not an expert here, but that sure as hell doesn't look healthy. Are those bruises? I have no idea what this is. But now I think about it, my whole hand is starting to feel a little stiff. Let's go check out the cold storage in the kitchen. Are you sure you don't want Yvonne to check up on you first? No markers in the cold storage either, which is both reassuring and worrying. Where is he then? Would you like us to double check every room? Let's do that, please. So either he's hiding somewhere or doesn't want to be found. Or he managed to find a way out of here? The possibilities are endless. What are, what are the odds that his, his time in the barrier ran out? I mean, we all assume that it's our first time being inside such a barrier. What if it's not? What if we all have less time to spare than we think we do? You know, that's one scary thought. And now that you point that out, it actually freaks me out that none of us here thought about that earlier. He could be dead and buried somewhere in, in either of the yards by now too. You don't sugarcoat anything, do you? <laughs> Guys, we may have another problem. What happened? Did you find him? We didn't. But Mariko... Oh shit, it's getting worse. Crap. Is it just me, or is this stuff spreading whirly fast? Oh dear. Miss Mariko, your hand! We noticed it when we were out in the courtyard. Any ideas what's happening to me? Would you mind if I inspect it? Go ahead. What was that? What? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to! Holy crap, man, what the actual- Did your finger just fall off? What? It didn't fall off, it crumbled to ash. The claw fell off simply because there's nothing to keep it in place anymore. Well, this is worrying. You seem to be taking it quite well. Yeah, I was about to say, you're not freaking out, your freaking finger fell off. No kidding, how are you able to stay so calm? It doesn't hurt, it's just sort of itchy. No, 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 no. Whatever you do, don't scratch it, Miss Mariko. That would probably make it spread faster. Do you know what's wrong with me? I believe this might be a cause of some kind of curse. Miss Mariko, you seem to have been cursed somehow, and it's possible that the claw was stopping the curse from spreading all along. A curse? Why did this start spreading all of a sudden then? Possibly because the spell cast it and your claw stopped working? Could we still recast it? Maybe, if I knew what kind of spell it was... Not only that, we need to put some kind of bracelet or glove on your hand to, for this point, uh, at this point for it to work. I'm not sure if it would be possible to reverse the damage it's been already done. 
Shit, so we're running out of time as we speak. And if we don't stop it... Finding the right book might take some time, assuming there's even one to help us with this. Well, to find it, we still have to make a better standing around and waiting like for the fairy godmother to appear. Appers, would you mind looking for something that could work on its bracelet? I'll do that. Wait, I just remembered something. What is it? I woke up with some kind of note in my bed. I thought Marco had lost it and I couldn't make sense of it, but maybe... Don't tell me! It's for the spell? This page. I don't get the what the words are saying on this. Well, the page number seems to be 43. There's some input at the end. These look like some random scribbles to me. What about you, Yvonne? Are you able to read it? Not all of it, but... If I'm understanding this right, this is an enchantment spell that freezes an item in time. For a set amount of time. So that claw of yours really needs to be enchanted with it. So basically, it was keeping your finger frozen in time to stop the curse from spreading? From what I understand, the spell has a limit on how long it can work during a single use, so it needs to be recast before it stops working for a continuous effect. Like, over and over again? That's kind of a nasty thing to live with, not to mention that you're losing your memories is practically a death sentence on what kind of condition. Will you be able to recast it? This spell seems horribly complicated. That means a no. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure where to even begin. Figuring this out could take weeks. Shit. I have no idea how or when I got this curse, but if I'm able but if I've been living with it for a while now, I must have known the spell, or someone must have cast it for me. If Marco was the one who left the page behind, he must have some kind of idea about this. So he left this page, hoping at least one of us would be able to learn the spell in a span of an hour? We barely can tell what's written on the shitty piece of paper. No offense, but I'd smack him across the face for this. <laughs> Maybe he'd hope I'd, I'd be able to remember some of it somehow? But if I really knew this spell and used it before, I honestly can't recall any of it. The only thing that comes to mind at this point, I suppose we're out of options. I need someone's help to cut off my a limb. What the hell are we doing? Are we Lee Everett now? We're just gonna chop off our arm? I was worried you'd say that. Apris, would you do me the honors? I wouldn't be able to take this on my own. If that's what you want, I'll give you I'll give you a hand with it. Miss Mariko, wait. I'm afraid that won't solve a pro the problem. The curse is going to keep spreading regardless. This kind of curse, the source of your condition, it is tied to your body. It's tied to your soul. We did a soul binding with the dragon, so... Is that the dragon, then? Because if you think about it, Mariko said that she was dying and was begging Fiathor, please save him. Is the, Was the curse not on Mar Mariko, but it's on the dragon? Are you sure? Why would it spread from my finger, then? Perhaps that's where the curse is placed? It's possible you came into contact with a cursed object simply by touching it. Wow, is this something like uh, that even a thing? Again, are you sure? You'll only end up with more suffering if you try to get rid of it in such a way, Miss Mariko. Please don't do that. So much for that idea, then. Shit, it's crumbling again. It's almost at my elbow by now. I should watch my movements a bit more. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do to help you. It's not your fault, Yvonne. This is the point where we should ask ourselves about the last request. Miss Shira! <laughs> what? I'm being serious. There's no point in denying it. She's gonna die in the next hour. Face reality. We might, we might as well do something for her while we have the chance. How can you be so insensitive about this, though? Patting her on the back and telling her that everything is gonna be okay won't solve anyone's problem. I swear, nobody here knows when to stop. <laughs> You can say that again. That's thoughtful of you, Shira. But I think I just want to be left alone at this point. Where the hell is Marco, dude? What the heck? So, this is the thing that's happening. Honestly, I didn't expect things to end this way. The lack of answers is frustrating. We didn't manage to find a way out, and we still have no idea why we're here to begin with. Not that it matters to me anymore. I wonder what happened to Marco, and to Shira, for that matter. Marco, did you really leave that page behind for me? Did you know something like this was going to happen? Hey, I know you said you wanted to be left alone, but maybe you still like to have some wine with me? Um, sure, I guess. I found this unopened bottle down in the basement. I remember that alcohol always helped me relax, so I figured, you know what, fuck it, we're dying, so whatever. <laughs> some wine actually sounds really good right now. Bottoms up, then. Sorry for not thinking ahead and bringing some glasses. I was kind of in a hurry. Drink as much as you like. Well, at least it smells like wine. Tastes like it too. 
I guess that basement turned out to be good for something. It's funny that I wish I had one of Marco's potions right now. Then I could just fall asleep and not think about this anymore. Do you mind if I lean on your shoulder? Go ahead. You know, I saw Yvonne crying on my way here. I guess it's no surprise that she's taking this whole situation well. Mariko, you really did drink those potions with Marco, didn't you? Yes, you really did. Okay. In case it wasn't obvious that Cheer and I, we didn't touch them. We just acted like we did. We figured just playing along could help us figure something out. But it seems that Marco couldn't tell whether we actually drank them or not. Or maybe he really didn't care. Just like he said from the beginning. What? Also, there's something else. Something else? Back when we drew cards and you got the king? Do you remember what card I drew? I was pretty vocal about it when Yvonne decided to pair up with Aparis. Oh, right. You were surprised you didn't end up with him since you got the nine. Yeah. What of it? I actually kept the card that I drew with me. Take a look at it now. What? That's the king. What? Wait, you mean... It seems I was right. Marco noticed that I was trying to tamper with the cards because he was doing the same thing himself. That's right, he knows illusion magic. So he's just, he was just forcing Mariko to get the king. He put illusions on the cards? How else would you explain this? What, what I don't get though, if he had the ability to do this, why didn't he simply take the king for himself? Why did he give it to you? Did he just do it to avoid being suspicious? Or did Marco want you to get the king for some reason? Did he assume you choose him? Or was he hoping to ch hoping that you choose someone else? <coughs> I guess none of that really matters anymore. Damn, this whole situation sucks. I know this probably won't be much to comfort to you, but trying to be realistic here, there's no telling you if, if the remaining three of us will be able to get out of here alive either. If anything, you'll suffer less than we will do. The prospect of staying here all alone with Yvonne and Appers kind of scares me, to be honest. It's likely we'll start running out of food eventually, too. Those kinds of situations always bring the worst in people. Nobody said you won't find a way out of here, though, so don't just give up yet. I hope you'll manage to figure out something out. Either way, I'm afraid it's slowly starting to reach my lungs, so... It still amazes me how you're able to stay so calm. I'm pretty sure I'd be freaking out if I were in your situation right now. Hell, I'm kind of freaking out as it is. And you're the one going through this. Is it weird that I'm not scared? On top of everything, it doesn't hurt, so maybe the realization of what's happening to me hasn't sagged in yet? I suppose that's some kind of comfort. <coughs> Thanks for sticking around. You don't have to thank me for that. Also, if Marco ever comes back while you were still around, I'll be sure to kick his ass for you. <laughs> Thanks, Shira. That's a promise. Huh, so we just crumbled into nothing, huh? We need six red clues to unlock Marco's true root? How many clues do I have? Oh, shit. So there's another one here. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end right here. This is a little bit suspicious. Once again, Marco disappears out of nowhere. It doesn't really tell us what's happening. And he's just gone. And we die too! So we don't even know like what's gonna happen to the rest of them. So I think for sure it's it's gonna reveal in in um Fiathor's route, because he's the next one in line. Considering Marco doesn't really have any good endings in his uh route. Um we're gonna take a look at Fiathor next, and then I'm gonna unlock the secret endings and we're gonna see what happens there. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys thought about Marco's route. I say root because it's not really like the full story of him, of course. But yeah, I'm gonna do Fiathor next, see what we can find out from Trash Man, and <laughs> hopefully I'll be able to get more clues because I, I still need clues to unlock Marco's real ending. That's the problem. I don't have all of them yet. So until I get all of them, that's when, you know, for sure we can know what's going on with Marco. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the companions. And if you like to help support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description. You get early access to videos, videos for Patreon only, the Discord server to come talk to me and a bunch of other stuff as well. Or you can support the channel for free with gawkbox.com slash a girl and a game. All you have to do is make an account, open it up on mobile or a tablet, and play, download and play the games on my page, and you will tip real money to the channel, which will help me make videos like this and continue the channel itself. Um, but yeah, please let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Marco's situation. I don't know, like, what to think because everything is so, like, vague. I hope that Fiathor will answer at least something about Mariko's past, because I'm more interested about, like, 
her family, Anna or Anna, whatever, in the in the the previous uh, route. So I'm just still confused. Let's be honest here. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Hold on a second. Is she? Fr Excuse me. Is she trying to take my? <laughs> I don't know about you, but tall, dark, and handsome side always says it for me. She he found his tongue wandering inside her mouth, exploring slowly as she. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me do that again. He found his tongue wandering in her mouth.